from the Tie Cats Audio Network. This is Tie Cats Today with Louis Butko. Yes, it is Tie Cats Today for a Wednesday, December the 7th, 2022. Thanks for checking us out on the Tie Cats Audio Network. Louis Butko here with you. I uh, really appreciate it as uh, we. Go through the grind of the off season, and what does that mean? Well, that means sometimes we don't have a lot of news and notes to bring you. Like sometimes um, we have to wait uh, for an acquisition or a signing or some news. And uh, on today's show, I can let you know that uh, nothing's happened with the Tie Cats so far. Uh, but we'll keep you up to date right here on this show as things happen, because uh, that's what we do here for you on uh, Tie Cats today. Coming up on today's show, though. Uh, when I say there's not much happening, that means on the field when it comes to that. But uh, behind the scenes, lots going on, including uh, uh, Tie Cats and TELUS partnership for a toy drive. Uh, so we're going to talk to Amanda Harine. She is a coordinator of community partnerships with the organization. Uh, we'll talk to her about her role. Uh, there's a chance if you've ever gone out to a Tie Cats uh, event out in the community or uh, met some players or, you know, maybe the players have gone to your kids' schools. Uh, chances are Amanda has been there. Uh, that's her job. Uh, so we'll talk to her about that. It's pretty interesting. And I want to get her perspective on uh, the last 12 months on the job. Uh, so she's coming up on today's show as well as we got a rare uh, double guest here for you uh, during this off season. Uh, we'll be joined by Matt Giffen. He is the owner of Bench Brewing uh, and Bench, a, a great partner with the Tie Cats. Uh, maybe you've picked up uh, your exclusive 2022 can from there uh, for the Tie Cats. Uh, he's also a huge Tie Cats fan himself uh, and also a great uh, community partner and uh, bench, obviously uh, a great local brewery. If you haven't checked him out, uh, you can go check him out. And uh, there's an event going on this weekend. So we'll talk to him about that coming up on today's show. Uh, but let's start with Amanda Harain. She is, as I mentioned, the coordinator of community partnerships. And uh, Amanda, there's a good chance that uh, if, if fans have been out, to see the Thai Cats in public, they've seen you as well. You have a, a pretty interesting job. Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so it's my job. Anytime there's a player appearance, either community football, um, a local community group, anytime you see them in the co- in a corporate way with like at Hercules Tires or one of those type events, that's me. I'm I'm along for the ride. Um, we're trying to promote like healthy, active, and empowered youth in Hamilton. Um, not just on the field, but also off the field. So we we know we focus on social responsibility and health and education as well. It's I mean it's a fun job, I mean, right? I mean, <laughs> absolutely. Because these I guys call them goats though, because oh. they like to hit things, right? So <laughs> and some cats. Uh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, hurting hurting goats is is kind of what you what you're doing here with the with the tie cats. But because you get to see them. You know, they get they go out to these community events, win or lose. And and it really is a human aspect of the players that sometimes when we watch them, you know, from our seats or when we watch them from the sidelines, we forget that these are actual people. Uh, so you really get to see the more human element of, of who the players are. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, the kids don't care what happened on Saturday afternoon or Saturday night or Friday night. You know, they're they love it. They, they're so excited to see the players. And, you know, something that's cool now that more kids are recognizing the players like out in the community again um and just excited to see them i know uh, dylan Wynn has told me he's been out with his his daughters and people be uh, little kids will come up and be like you're a dylan like so excited so it's just nice to like be rejuvenated uh through football well especially considering the last two years in the last you know three years and what we've all been through and and getting to go to these community events because a lot of the things that makes the cfl special is the accessibility of these players into our local communities what did it mean to you to go into schools after everything we've been through because i know you work with kids you you're a, you're a basketball coach what did it mean to you to get to experience this through their eyes but also a, as your own person Oh, it was just so great. And it just kind of reminded me why we do it and, and why the CFL is so important. And like you said, like, like no other league, uh, the kids uh, were able to, are able to really connect with the players and have like genuine interactions. Um, even at the beginning of this year, we weren't able to be in schools. We were in lockdown, um, trying to figure out a way to do things virtually. But then luckily we were able to start slowly getting into schools and like the kids needed it and they needed that motivation. Um, and if you ever see Simone Lawrence uplift a room of children, like I'm ready to, 
to start anything. I could do anything after a talk up from him. Uh, now, normally when we talk community partnerships, we, we usually get on uh, Courtney Steven and uh, you've been fortunate enough to get to work with, with Courtney. I've known him a long time, both as a player and as somebody who, who is now working uh, within the organization. Uh, what did you take away from, from working with a guy like Court and, uh, and, and maybe what's, uh, what's one thing that, uh, that really stands out to you when you, you think about this past year and, and everything you guys have been through? Yeah, um, Corny is an amazing leader. Not only does he truly care about the CFL and just like cares about the city of Hamilton, and he wants to see everyone around him do better and be uplifted. Um, you can't leave a moment with Corny Stephen without feeling like motivated. Um, and and it's been great. He's he's helped me um, connect better with the community. Um, but also it's like trusted me that, you know, I know what I'm doing when it comes to community, like you said, with basketball and knowing what the kids need and kind of has let me, um, has trusted me to let me run the type of events and connect with the type of groups that I want to. And I think it's been really great. Uh, he really empowers you to believe in yourself. Uh, now we did bring you on for a specific reason today. Uh, the Thai Cats, uh, tell us, uh, partnered up. Uh, of course, tell us such a great partner year round, but uh, this time of year, especially uh, with the toy drive going on, what's going on with this? Yeah. So uh, this week, um, uh, up until Friday, you can drop the new unwrapped toy off at the Thai Cats store. Um, so we'll be collecting those. And then in a week, we'll be headed to Boys and Girls Club to just hang out with the kids. We'll, we're dropping off the toys to um, parents uh, who uh, no noted that they may need extra help this Christmas. But we're just going to do some Christmas activities with kids in the community, hopefully get them singing some carols, doing some crafts, um, and just having a good time with, with the kids. Yeah, uh, the toys will be collected uh, until Friday, you said, at the Thai Cat Shop. And there's also, I believe, a little bit of an incentive that if you do bring a gift down, uh, you know, you've made the trip to the Thai Cat Shop, we're going to reward you with a little gift as well. Yeah, so um, you'll be able to receive a $10 uh, off card that you'll be able to use until December 30th. And that's when you spend $75 or more at this store. Um, so, you know, you, you give a little, you get a little, uh, it's all great. And you can use that to get ready either for next season, maybe fill up on some stocking stuffers, you know, the world's your oyster at the store. <laughs> oh yeah. Well said, uh, Amanda, appreciate this is always, uh, always interested in getting to know what you do. Uh, what's, uh, what's one thing as we wrap up the year here uh, on this show and, and, you know, just in general, what's one thing that stands out to you about the, the last 12 months? I know before we came on, we were talking about a year ago was, was great cup week. And I'm sure that, that you're still recovering from that. But when you look back at the, the last 12 months, what stands out to you? Um, I think the Play It Forward event we had at the stadium. So we brought over 100 Indigenous youth from Six Nations and Mississaugas of the Credit here. And they got to do football drills with the football players. And everyone just had such a great time. Their smiles, it was joyful. And it, it was just nice to connect like through different parts of the community. Yeah. And you got me uh, thinking about when it was much warmer outside and, uh, you know, the stadium here behind me, the sun was yes. shining. Uh, yeah. Not, not yes. quite these days. Uh, Amanda, appreciate you doing this. Thank you for spending some time with us this afternoon. Oh, thank you so much. We'll see you soon. And that is the coordinator of community partnerships, Amanda Hareen and uh, the, uh, the Thai cats uh, there again, talking about the, uh, the TELUS holiday toy drive in support of BGC Hamilton and Halton. Uh, you can donate a toy at the uh, Thai Cat Shop. Also be entered to uh, in, entered into a raffle for a chance to win an Apple Watch courtesy of TELUS. Uh, and prior to the holidays, all toys donated will be given to the children and families associated with BGC Hamilton Halton. Uh, nice to uh, celebrate the season. And uh, I always love celebrating the season with a, uh, a festive beverage. And luckily, our friends at Bench Brewing uh, have a whole bunch of options for us. And uh, here to discuss that and so much more, including his Thai Cats fandom, uh, is the owner of Bench Brewing. It's Matt Giffen. And uh, Matt, I I'm thinking, uh, if, you know, if maybe put the hint out there for anyone listening who wants to give me a gift. Uh, you can never go wrong with, uh, with some multi-classics. That's great. That's a great uh, segue. I appreciate the production, I guess you might say. Yes, we have uh, lots of beer available for uh, gifts, gifting, drinking, uh, lots of merch, and uh, yeah, all getting ready for the, the holiday season for sure.
I always love when uh, my buddies will send me uh, pictures of the, the Thai cats collectible cans that they pick up and, you know, they're so excited and they're, Oh, where can I get this year round? And well, y'all can always get it year round. Cause it's the Lincoln lager. That one's my favorite. It's near and dear to my heart. Uh, the Lincoln lager, but so is, uh, is, is the balls falls is uh, as somebody who who's grown up in Niagara and with the bench lands kind of in his backyard, his whole life, uh, very special local beers. Yeah, Balls Falls has been our best seller since since the beginning. But I gotta say, the Lincoln Lager, the Thai Cats Lincoln Lager, is our number one seller in the tap room. Yeah. So, uh, sessionable, as they say, and uh, you know, we're just so proud to to be the craft beer partner of the Thai Cats. Like every time I see a can with the the, the Thai Cats logo on it, I just I feel blessed. Now you talk about the Tie Cats. Obviously, we're we're partners, but it's so much more than that. You are a lifelong CFL fan. What is your your connection to the Tie Cats? I like long for sure. And, you know, believe it or not, I grew up in London, Ontario. Um, so back in the day, you know, back in the 70s and 80s, London was a bit sleepy compared to, to the Hammer. Hamilton was this vibrant, gritty town and, and had a professional football team. We had the, the London Beef Eaters and, and, and the Western Mustangs. But you know, my dad would take me to the Ticats games at a very young age and uh, just loved it. Loved the, the passion of the fans just being in, in Iverwind. You know, seeing all around me and obviously the, the great the great football. So, uh, yeah, I've been a lifelong fan. And, um, you know, we were overseas for quite some time, came back, and, and then we became season ticket holders again in 2008. And I just love being at the games. And, and now I've been able to do that with our kids. So my dad taking me to the games. We've been taking our three, three daughters to the games uh, since we got back. And just love it. Now, I, I heard a rumor that you, you once did an epic – can we call it a road trip uh, in which you tried to hit as many Tiger Cats games as possible? What's what's the story behind this? Is that Matt Affinick that told I uh, uh, one season, I had uh, some time. Uh, I was able to do it, and I went to every game but one. And I, and I didn't go to that one because it was my aunt's 95th birthday, and I had to go, as you would expect. So I missed the game in Edmonton. <laughs> Wow. I mean, that's that's still an incredible number of games to hit in uh, in one season. Uh, you know, a lot of players can't even uh, make it to every game in the season. But you, Matt Giffen, uh, managed to pull it off. Uh, now, we're talking about uh, fun stuff happening down at the brewery. Uh, I know, obviously, your great location, uh, where you are. You have the opportunity. I know that's how we, we love to phrase it, of expanding what you guys do outside with the fire pits. Uh, but what's going down at the, uh, the brewery uh, this month? We've been very fortunate. Our events and uh, our event and wedding center is just completed. So we've been working on that for about two and a half years. Uh, construction's finished. So, yeah, we have some real new interesting space available for corporate and, corporate and wedding events uh, available now. Uh, also at our tap room, always something going on, whether it's uh, music or, like you say, the outdoor uh, fire pits, et cetera. So, yeah, lots going on between now and, and Christmas. Past. So, and you know, we were focusing on uh, our, our new menu. We've got lots of great food items for everybody. So, if you've been here recently, there's something new for you here to try. Uh, just a little fun fact on a personal level. Uh, my uncle was one of the last weddings uh, that was at that church on the property there uh, I, I, it, before you guys took over. So uh, that 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 place, that building, which is beautiful, by the way, uh, of course, you know where where you have it there. A uh, little little personal history. One of the last weddings at that uh, facility. Great. Oh, we're we're looking for little historical tidbits as we start to uh, you know get it get it rolling full time. So that's great. Yeah, that's been there. 40s uh we've kept it intact uh you know very mindful of all the history that's been there all the families that have been married there and have attended there over the years so hey just excited to have the old saint helen's church on our property uh and uh, before we let you go something exciting happening this weekend it is the uh the benchlands winter wine fest happening at balls falls uh always great to celebrate the harvest of the season even in winter i know uh you know here in niagara uh Hamilton, Niagara area. We, we love to celebrate the harvest. Uh, uh, another fun weekend of events at uh, Balls Falls set, uh, set to go. You know, craft beverages, obviously wine. There's beer that we have distilleries here as well. So yeah, just a great event. Lots of fun and lots of things to try. Well said. Matt, really appreciate you doing this. Uh, appreciate you spending some time with us uh, this afternoon. All the best uh, this holiday season uh, to you and the family. Always a pleasure, Louis. Happy holidays to you too. And that is Matt Giffen. He's the owner of Bench Brewing and a great partner of the Thai Cats. And of course, Matt, a, a huge Thai Cats fan himself. Uh, as you heard there, going uh, a couple of years ago to all but one 
games uh, across the country. So a huge Ty Cats fan, and always great to connect with him. And uh, you know, just a nice hint uh, to anyone who's listening, uh, you know, mom or, or dad who's, who might be getting me a gift. Uh, you can't go wrong with bench. Can't go wrong with beer. Uh, that, that's that's for sure. All right, that'll do it for us today. Uh, we are back later this week. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode of this show or any of the other great shows for you here on the uh, Tight Cats Audio Network. Appreciate it, as always. Uh, from all of us here, I'm Louie Butkill. Hope you have a great day. The Hamilton Tiger Cats are proud to support the Holiday Toy Drive presented by TELUS. From December 5th to December 9th, drop off a new unwrapped toy and receive a $10 off card to utilize at the Tie Cats shop and be entered into a raffle for a chance to win an Apple Watch courtesy of TELUS. All toys will be given to families associated with Boys and Girls Club of Hamilton Halton. More details at TieCats.ca. Make this holiday brighter with you, the Tie Cats, and TELUS. Tiecast today can be heard every weekday, and we would like to hear from you. Email us at gameday at tiecats.ca. Have a question or an opinion? We want to hear it. That's gameday at tiecats.ca. Subscribe to the Tiecats Audio Network on Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts.